being asked to find the unit tangent vector to the curve at t equals 1. Solution. There's an easy formula that we can use to do this problem. So t of t is the derivative of r divided by the magnitude of the derivative of r. And this here is the unit tangent vector. So this is the unit tangent vector. Let's start by differentiating r. So r prime of t. Now when we differentiate r, we just differentiate the components. That's a funny looking r. <laughs> so we get 4ti plus 3j. Now we can find the magnitude of the derivative. To find the magnitude, you just take the square root. So 4t squared plus 3 squared. You square the components and add and take the square root. So this is equal to the square root of 16t squared plus 9. Now we can go ahead and rewrite this using our formula. So let's think of it this way. This is 1 over the magnitude of the derivative times r prime of t. So this is 1 over the square root of 16t squared plus 9, and then times the derivative, so this piece here, 4ti plus 3j. So 4ti plus 3j. So that is t of t. So let me write it again down here. So t of t is 1 over the square root of 16t squared plus 9, and then parentheses 4ti plus 3j. We want it when t is equal to 1. So all we have to do now is just plug in 1, simplify if possible, and then we're done. So let's see, t of 1, this is 1 over the square root. If we plug in 1 here, we just get 16. So 16 plus 9, parentheses, here we get 4 times 1, so 4, 4i, plus, and then there's no t's here, so 3j. This is 1 over the, well, let's see, 16 plus 9 is 25. And when we take the square root of 25, we get 5. Piece of cake. So this is 1 fifth, 4i plus 3j. And I suppose you could leave it like that, but let's go ahead and write it as 4 fifths i plus 3 fifths j. And that's an ugly 5. And that is the final answer. So again, the first step is take the derivative. We did that here. It was really easy to do doing, using the power rule. And then you find the magnitude. To find the magnitude, you just square the components, add them up, take the square root, rewrite everything using your formula, and to finish, just plug in 1 into your formula. I hope this helps.